Well, good morning. Jim Sunderworth here. Back to you from the swing of my house. Uh, well, I love this place out here. I just love uh, thinking about being with you and, and uh, sharing this time with you, with the Lord, and my wife, who is on the other side of this camera. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and my dog is down there, too. Uh -huh. Buddy's with us. Today. But he knows when we get out here on this swing, man, I, I'm amazed how quiet he is. He just knows that we've been doing this so long now, he knows exactly what's going to be happening there, right, babe? Uh -huh. Anyway, so, to, you know, yesterday we talked about heart. And um, I, I found this scripture says, My son, give me your heart and let your eyes delight in my ways. Now, I want to talk about that because mm -hmm. in in a Numbers, the beginning here at the 16th chapter, we're going to be talking about somebody who did not delight in the ways of God, but de was wanting to delight in their own ways. They, um, um, I want to talk this today, but, but I want to talk about the positive side of this, which talks about redemption and reconciliation uh, out of a, of a position of no respect and total ingratitude how God can can reconcile and and bring things back together and and God will be glorified in this and it's a story that I'm sure that if you know anything about the Bible in the Old Testament especially in numbers you, a story about a man um, a man named Korah uh, a man named Dothan and Abiram now they were three men uh, there was another man in there but I'm not going to talk about him because his wife saved him uh, uh, from, from being a part of this. But anyway, so here it is that there was Korah, Dothan, and Abiam. Uh, uh, and they were they were Levites. They were part of the, the Levitical uh, priesthood in a sense. In other words, they, they worked in the tabernacle with Moses and Aaron. And but and they had a big responsibility. But they they became very prideful. Mm -hmm. They became discontent and they became jealous. Listen, it says, Now Korah and the sons of Izar, the son of Korath, and the son of Levi, Dothan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, and the sons of Peleth and, and Reuben, took men, and they rose up before Moses of some of the children, 250 leaders of the congregation, representing the, in the congregation, uh, men of renown. They were known. And they gathered together against Moses and Aaron and said, You take too much upon yourself for all the congregation. All of us are holy, even one of them, and the Lord is among them. Why then do you exalt yourself above the assembly of the Lord? So when Moses heard this, he fell on his face. He fell on his face and he and he spoke to Korath and, and the company saying, Tomorrow morning the Lord will show us uh, who is his and who is holy and will cause him to come near to him to whom he chooses and will cause to come near to him do this take the censers and Korah and all your company put fire in them and put incense in them before the Lord tomorrow and it shall be that these men whom the Lord chooses as holy ones you take too much upon yourselves the sons of Levi okay so here comes these three men and they have 200 they've and they've rallied the troops they have 250 other people and families that that um that say look look Moses you put yourself on this uh pedestal you you've taken too much of yourself and um, so what they do, they come against Moses saying, listen, I, you, th th they were filled with pride. They felt like they could do a better job. They felt mm -hmm. like they didn't need to submit to this kind of leadership. In other words, they got their eyes off of God's way mm -hmm. and got it on their way. Now, this is very, very important to understand. You cannot do that. Because what that happens, pride is what kicked us out of the garden in the first place. And then they became very discontent with the leadership. They didn't want to come under authority anymore. So what they did, they said, I, we want to be the authority because they became jealous. They became jealous. They wanted to have what Moses had. And if you read, it says they really especially wanted to have what Aaron had. Look, look if you search after leadership, if you seek it, then, then you're 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 prone to, to people look at you. And Moses didn't seek leadership. He didn't seek this. Remember at the bush, he said, "No, I can't do this. Don't send." Some. In fact, he, the Lord got angry at him because he said, "Don't send me. I don't can't even talk. I can't do anything. Get somebody else." So Moses didn't. God sought Moses. It's better to be sought than you to seek. Mm -hmm. It's better to be sought as leadership than to try to seek the position. Mm -hmm. Now listen. 
we're running out of time right here, and I've got I've got myself in pretty deep here. But I but I wanted the devotional as, aspect is look, do not look to yourself as source. Look to God. Have a beautiful heart, a full heart that says, Lord, I delight in Your ways. I delight in Your ways. Keep it God-centered, and you'll always be blessed. I'll continue this tomorrow. Okay, bye bye.